show home screen option you have the ability to add and schedule your slides at any time and to do that you're going to go into the tabs area of the control panel and from the list you're going to look for the type that's marked home slideshow and select that then you're going to scroll down to the content for the particular slideshow you'll see it has a list of your current slides it shows the order in which they're being presented it shows the image the description and then the first date it will appear within the app and the last date it will appear within the app and whether or not it's enabled will be shown by if there's a check in the checkbox it's enabled if there is no check then it is disabled and if you need to manage a slide you can go into the manage area but we're going to add a slide so we click on add slide and we want to link this to content I want to link this to uh, production so I am going to select production and then it's going to provide me a list of that content that I can choose from and I'm going to pick cat on a hot tin roof and then the description area I need to put in uh, something that'll alert me to what this particular slide is if I see it in a list of slides so I'm just going to put cat and then for the title I'm going to put cat on a hot tin roof. I have the ability to do HTML markup, so I'm going to add a line break here. And then I'm going to put in the date. And then here I'll put in the call to action for the button text. Now I'll need to select an image. So I'm going to do that. And for the image, we do encourage you to use a 1024 pixel tall by 768 pixel wide image. This is large enough to look good on a tablet, but it'll still upload quickly. We do encourage you to keep the main content of your image near the center as the images may be, the edges may be cropped due to the viewing device's dimensions. Also, if you're going to include an image that does have text on it, have that text be toward the center so that your title text that's overlaid in the upper left corner and the button text in the lower right corner uh, do not conflict with text that's on the image itself. Next, I need to put down the first date that I want it to be active. I'm going to go ahead and choose today's date. And then the last date that I want it to be active. And since the final date for the show is July 1st, then I'm going to put July 1st as the last date for that slide. I also want to make sure that the checkbox here is enabled. Even if I have a slide scheduled to appear, if it is not checked, then it will not appear within the app. So in order for a slide to appear, the date must fall within the first and last dates, and you must have the checkbox enabled. Now I click on Add Slide. So now if I look at the list of slides, I'll see that cat has been added to the bottom. If I want to change that, I can move it up using the arrow keys and if I want to see how this is going to look I can either go back to the main preview or I can click on preview here I'll see that an extra dot has been added so I can move to the right and there we go
And it's that easy.